Hi everyone, this is Palm State Podcast Sussex with, with two, two pretty D's. And uh, we've missed you guys. And we just went, uh, was doing a lot of research on uh, the topic that we discussed, which is looking at the world family From heritage, just to talk about three topics. But we're gonna focus, well, the overall theme for episode 19 is going to be from, from the Tudors, Tudors to, to the Windsors. Windsors. And um, some of this some of this history, some of the stuff we did was pretty tough to go through. Right. But hopefully we'll get through it uh, with you. And a little and, confusing. And I think yes. it's going to be more than just one episode. Yeah, there are going to be several episodes <laughs> going through all the different ho uh, house houses. Yes. yes. Yes, all the different houses. And um, we want to focus on... The, um, let's something see, misogyny. Well, I think it's something that bullying. Well, we'll start with, with that. We want to focus on misogyny, um, the narcissism. narcissism, and racism. Just all of the key traits that you are seeing that were displayed in, in pretty much uh, uh, was blatant it, against Megan. Megan, right. Right, but there's some history to mm -hmm. it. There's, and yes. There's yes. some context that we to wanted it. to. Right. We figured, what's really going on with what? this firm? Exactly. And not only that, but people tend to forget, you know, as history goes by and, you know, we have the younger and younger generation and not being taught history mm -hmm. or some of what they're being taught, it's like at a college level and people may not take that course because it's not in their discipline. Mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of things tend to be lost, you know. Right. Yeah. So we just wanted lost to bring it back. Or... Hidden. Yeah. We, we just wanted to bring it back and um, just, you know, Talk about it a little bit because we had uh, was it the Black Lives Matter Act? Uh, um, yes. Well, in in England, we had it in the United States, we had it all over the world, and we had it in England. And uh, in England, they found out, hey, we have a lot of slave traders and a lot of uh, statues of, uh, of people that yeah we really don't care for. We exactly. Did, yeah. So so why are we honoring them? Yeah. These people. Right. So. But, you know, as William said, yes. we're not a very racist power. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you understood that, but that was her English accent going, saying... Well, they slur, well, they do a little mumble with their poshness. Yes. But we're not a very racist family. Yes. Excuse we me? are not a very racist, racist family. family. So you be the judge. We don't know. Right. But let's, let's go back in history. Yes. So I just wanted to talk about this one individual. His name is Admiral Sir John Hawkins. Some of you probably already know about them, about him, of Plymouth. And he was a notable Elizabethan uh, seafarer and widely acknowledged to be the pioneer of the English slave trade. Mm -hmm. um, in 1554 and 1555, Hawkins formed a slave trading syndicate mm. uh, for wealthy merchants. Now, in Britain, there were never any laws on the books about slavery, not the way United States had laws on the books about slavery. So this is the way the British was able to get around it um, and be, I guess, above board because they were not dealing in the slave trade, whereas there were a lot of other European countries, countries yeah. uh, Belgium, Spain, Spain uh, France, the Europe. Netherlands. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, now, we're focusing only on the enslaved Africans. There were also Russian slaves. Correct. There were, um, and other countries that had slaves uh, that were not African. But we're just focused on, on this because of Megan and Harry and because of William's statement. So, um, William. William, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, this individual um, was by the, I'm going to jump ahead. By the 18th century, mm -hmm. the slave trade had become a major economic mainstay to such cities as Bristol, Liverpool, Glasgow. And, and they engage, and that's all because of the triangle, triangular trade, which a lot of people know as the Middle Passage. Correct. Passage, mm -hmm. uh, which is from Africa to Europe to all the Caribbean islands, North down America. down to South America. Down mm -hmm. to South America. Yeah. Uh, the ships were set out from Britain, loaded with goods, which were exchanged uh, on the West African shores to the slave captured uh, by local rulers and from deeper into in the islands 
inland, deeper inland, mm-hmm. they were transported through the infamous Middle Passage. Now, I said slaves were captured. Let me just correct that. And I just want to go back in history a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, it is my belief that the winners of any war, they write their history. So we know a lot of it is a lies. When, um, from a couple of excerpts we saw from uh, other countries, French, uh, Spain, th- when people went to Africa, they saw wealth. More than a... More, a lot of wealth. Yes. A lot of resources, abundant Wonders. wealth and resources. Mm-hmm. And they also saw a people, Africans, that were living that... He, this one um, uh, captain, mm-hmm. you know, said, related back to the, to the king and queen that they saw people, they were all full fed. Yes. No one was um, hungry. hungry on the streets. People left their doors open. People were not stealing. People were um, pretty much um, fa- well, or, it was a well organized a and it was a vibrant society. Mm-hmm. And one of the things that they said is that we may not be able to break the African, uh, conquer the African through um, just be, you know, invading them, just, uh, they'll have to do it with religion. Correct. So they did a combination of both. And it's my belief that this went on for quite some time. Yes. And they can leave the, the warriors in Africa who were fighting them. So I think there were a lot of deaths, a lot of white people died, a lot of Europeans died, a lot of Africans Africans died. died. And I, this went on for some time, for quite some time before they were able to, might uh, tr- a tran- traverse across Africa from the is it we call the West Coast mm-hmm. or the yeah all the way to the East Coast. Correct. They never conquered Ethiopia. No, is it Ethiopia? Mm-hmm. Yes, that is correct. Yes, and um, so they couldn't leave these people there because there would always be uprising against them against the Europeans, and as so- they should, because get out of my. Country, sure. right? So what they did was ensla- enslaved these uh, warriors and took them to different places where they could utilize them for as free free labor, labor free mm-hmm. labor. Yep. So, uh, so just go back to uh, the first voyage of um, John well, the, the Hawkins, architect of yes, the English slave trade, slave trade. Yes. And he did this for Queen Elizabeth the first. And why did he do that for Queen Elizabeth the first? <laughs> She, she was a tutor, the house of tutor now. Right, right. So and Hawkins received uh, from Queen Elizabeth, mm-hmm. uh, he it was called a privateer. So it made him a private, like a company, like okay. his own business. So he could, um, which was not, you know, he could go out and do the, uh, engage in slave trade. Mm-hmm. Right. And this is where he got other privateers in with him and they formed a syndicate um, with some other fam- rich individuals who had the support of the queen. So that was his first, his first voyage that took place in 60, 1562 to 1563. And when he was successful and he came back, mm-hmm. bring in, of course, the wealth that he had stolen and the monies from the slave trade, um, he received from Queen Elizabeth from England um, I would say it's not a hmm, his own coat of arms. It's old coat of arms with a with a black man on the top of it, right? Right. So it's similar to so like that, a that OBE, OBE? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, or MBE. Well, yeah. you see, yes, like they got Tennyson. Rig- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you must use the OBE. <laughs> yes. Yes. So it it got where well, you had a black man on top and a coat of arms yes. and. Uh, it was different. Now the OBEs where you have a black man, you oh we crushed them. It was right. a symbol that they crushed them. Right. So that's just giving you just the beginning. Right. Right. So not a very racist family. Hmm. Yes. Right. So, but you know the reason why uh, Elizabeth I did all that is because mm. England was kind of broke. Right. At the time, mm-hmm. her father was going to war. Henry VIII. All the wars, not really good at it. Sucked mm-hmm. at it. Bankrupt the country. Mm-hmm. Well, not bankrupt, but you know, mm-hmm. to a point where it wasn't quite where it, they were compared to their other European counterparts. Mm-hmm. So she started pinning her um, her abilities mm-hmm. and uh, what did they call it here? They said her guile 
and her her um, ability to um, finesse, if you will, from a political strategy mm-hmm. and pit Spain and France against each other. So while right. they're bickering between, she's over there trying to collect and get money so yeah. she didn't have to worry and exactly. stay in power. Right. Now, it's also a trip is that the French um, recognized Mary, Queen of Scots, mm-hmm. as the rightful um, sovereign for England. At the where, time. Right. That's why she had her killed. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Right. Because so, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So one of the things Ruthless. that this little pretty D is going to do is she's going to go through all of the different houses uh, in brief. But, and then we'll come back and have another episode in full. Oh, but about all day trifling? Yes, but she's going to go through each house in brief leading down to the Windsors uh, in this first episode. Uh, so you'd have a highlight of where we're going and we'll have um, charts and everything of the... Oh, so you didn't want me to bring up the narcissism? Oh, yeah, bring up some... Up? Yeah, go ahead. I mean, because, you know, she kicked it off. So. Right, exactly. I mean, the whole propaganda. Yes. How she excelled at that. The mm-hmm. whole um, idea of... Um, her trick was let me go to all the different towns Mm -hmm. in uh major cities in england Mm -hmm. and just promote the monarchy as you will and that was part of her vanity the show is about her Mm -hmm. okay so that's where narcissism plays in and of Mm -hmm. course all of her portraits right she always had to look a certain way right and if she didn't like it they had to redo it and then some painters had to paint off another painter and then the white paint and mm. Mm -hmm. there's just so much stuff right and she's the one too that um her hair was receding yeah she um, she went bald yeah she was wearing a wig oh okay i thought it had started to recede recede. and she made all of her housemates they had to shave their head back yes and so they all looked like her so it looked normal (laughs) <laughs> yes you know that was the point well, because in the royal court she wanted right. to yeah so that's the the mentality yes. that harry and megan had so william is yes. that i'm sorry saying his name i'm sorry he is the what well, i'm the product heir. of all of that yeah i'm the heir so every all eyes has to be, be on, on me, me and my wife exactly it can't be on anybody else right well yeah. technically screw her it's mm-hmm. all about him it's all about him yeah. right and then this is what they said that's right mm-hmm. england was broke so they relied on guile smoke screens and confusion what does that sound like today mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. anyway uh <laughs> and then um the daily may fail mm-hmm. the express mm-hmm the distraction is a liar the distraction the distraction stories, stories to right. take away from pedo andy yes okay right and then oh now we have this black woman in our family oh no mm-hmm. she's going down she's going down exactly so that's mm-hmm. where it starts so house of Tudor is where it all kicked off right but so, that's just mild we'll come back with their ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so then the next house the house of stuart okay because you know she didn't have any heirs Mm -hmm. she never got married so it went back over to the stewart line of the family okay and then uh so that was james uh the first of england but he was also the fourth of no excuse me sixth of scotland so Mm -hmm. he had scotland and england Mm -hmm. and then his kids it started to go down this line of charles the first then the james the second but they all ended up dying off so went back over to the they call it the sophia secession Mm -hmm. it's still in the line of stewart so then you have George the first, mm-hmm. George the first, then George the second, George the second had a son named Frederick. So the reason I'm going and naming these people down is because we're going to also tie in how they were tied into other families. Of yes. Europe. Yes. So, um, it starts here. Mm-hmm. So this is where the connection comes in. Well, not only starts here, but <clears throat> when it starts to branch off into other royal families, royal families, right? right. So here. Uh, Frederick, um, son of George II, married Augusta of Saxe Gotha, mm-hmm. and they had a um, his sister Anne married William of mm-hmm. Orange of the Netherlands. Okay, the King of the Netherlands, so now right. of the Netherlands. Right. Next came George III. They call him the Mad King, but mm-hmm. he was the one that was <clears throat> married to Queen Charlotte of Mecklenburg. Street slits, okay, Germany, right? Mm-hmm. So you got that going on, and she was biracial. Mm-hmm. Now here's the thing: what was she um, biracial with? Black. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> African. Excuse me. African. Okay. And, <laughs> and Caucasian. <laughs> so yeah, England, Netherlands, Germany. Okay. 
Right. But I question, I'm going to take a little pause. Mm -hmm. Did they call him mad because he did, he was a little crazy crazy? Or is it because he married a black woman? It's because he married a black woman. But okay. I'm and, just going there. Okay. <laughs> well, he did do that thing with the clocks though. Remember when we saw them clocks? Yes. He was yes, a little tripping. Yes. Okay. So then. You wanted to, uh, well, when we get to that line, <laughs> yes. we we'll talk about the clocks because it's all over England. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then from there goes down to his children. So they had George the mm, fourth, then William the fourth, then Edward. They both died. Edward came, became, um, uh, I guess he was still, you know, George the third was still alive. Mm -hmm. And then his daughter, Victoria, she became the queen. Right. Yes. So that's how it got to mm -hmm. Queen Victoria. Okay. And then she ended up marrying Albert of Saxe, Gotha, uh, Coburg Gotha. Mm -hmm. Now here's the crazy thing. Edward Duke of Kent of Saxe, Gothburg Saffield mm -hmm. was her father's, but Victoria, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, just too much inner. Wait a minute. How how <laughs> how far were they from? Were they first cousins, second cousins, or brother and sister? What are you talking about? Um, they were not brother and sister. Mm -hmm. I just think that there's a lot of Sax Coburg. Uh huh. This one is a Saffield, mm -hmm. and then Albert is from Gotha. Okay. But all that area and mm -hmm. realm is Germany. Okay. So, so, okay. So now you have Victoria and Albert. Okay. And this becomes the house of Saxe, Go Coburg, Gotha. Mm -hmm. And then Victoria had nine kids? Yes. And, ooh, child, honey. They all look alike. <laughs> well, that's not it. Mm -hmm. This is just where it gets crazy with the branches and right. the, the going out. So do you want me to go down to the Windsor line or do you want me to... Yeah, so go, you know the country. Uh, go down to Windsor Line and then come back to that. All right. So then, their son Edward, the six, seven, seventh, <laughs> married Alexandra of Denmark. So now you got Denmark. Mm -hmm. Then um, George the fifth. So George the fifth. This is where it gets interesting. His cousin. If we step back to the damn kids again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> His cousin. <laughs> is now the Tsar of Russia. Okay. Right? So you have Russia. You also had Prussia as well. So that's why let me finish with Victoria's kids. Okay. So Alice. Uh, no, I'll come back to Alice. Mm -hmm. You had Louise. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, then you had Leopold of mm -hmm. Albany. Mm -hmm. Then you had Edward the Seventh. Mm -hmm. So he was the king. Mm -hmm. And he married Denmark. Okay. You have Beatrice. And then... She married Henry, Prince of Battenberg, mm -hmm. but their daughter ended up marrying the King of Spain. Okay. So she ended up being the Queen, Queen of, of Spain. Spain. Okay. And then their daughter mm -hmm. ended up being, uh, wait, nope, sorry, wrong one. Next uh, child of Victoria is Alfred. Mm -hmm. Alfred married Maria of the Grand Duchess of Prussia. Mm -hmm. I mean, excuse me, Russia. Russia, uh -huh. okay. And then their daughter mm -hmm. ended up being the queen of Romania. Okay. So now you got Russia, Romania, Spain, Germany, Denmark. Okay. I have, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then you go over to Arthur. Mm -hmm. and you're still in Prus Prussia. He married Louise. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm still in Prussia. Mm -hmm. And then Victoria, she married William of Prussia. So still in Prussia. Mm -hmm. And then the last Helena, she married um, Christian uh, Prince of Ostenburg. Okay. So, you know, still in the Germany line. Mm -hmm. So then it gets interesting when you get to Edward the the seventh. Mm -hmm. Edward the seventh, his child, Maud, she married Hakan the seventh, king of Norway. So that's okay. how Norway comes into the picture. Mm -hmm. So what um, this pretty D pretty much outline is uh, something that we've been talking about. And you hear a lot of people talk about it as being, um, oh, that's just a conspiracy theory. Um, you have several people who said there's one family that ruled the world and we can show from this uh, marriage. This is just an exa example this of the just marriage. Just an example. Yeah. Just through marriage. You had um, and, and you had England, mm -hmm. Netherlands, yep. Germany, yep. Russia, yep. Prussia, Denmark, mm -hmm. Spain, Romania, and Norway 
nine European countries. And don't forget the Netherlands. And then, uh, did I, okay. I yeah, that was Netherlands earlier on. But okay, yeah, they, they were already yes. in the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. uh, that, where they were all related. Mm -hmm. They were all related. This vacation together. They talk together. You know, they, uh, I don't know. They, they probably ruled together. And, and I get it, right? Yes. The royals only hung out with other royals. Other royals, right. Yes. So, but they were also competitive too. So there was some competitive within the families, among the families, because you saw where um, earlier how they were fighting with Spain and different things like that. But they also one of the reasons for marrying each other was so that they could calm some of the um, hostilities against the different countries and um, control. Control. It's about and power you know, and control. Power control. Yeah. One family doing all this mess. Yep. So and um, yes. <clears throat> so that's how it all oh, started. But let me go back to um, Miss Alice. So okay. Alice was the other child of Victoria. Mm -hmm. She married Ludwig, uh, the great Duke of Hesse and mm -hmm. the Rhine. Okay. Their daughter, Victoria, she ended up marrying Louis, Prince of Battenberg. Mm -hmm. And then they had a child named Alice, Princess of Battenberg. Mm -hmm. And then Alice married Andrew prince of greece greece that's prince philip's mom and they had a son mm -hmm. philip prince philip mm -hmm. uh, duke of edinburgh <laughs> wait a second so victoria's uh -huh. family yes um that's why prince philip and the queen are their first or second cousins just like second cousins. they were related <laughs> Yeah, they say that in the the books it says distant cousins. Yeah, but they're cousins. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, so through the line of Alice, you have uh -huh. um, Philip, uh -huh. and then that's how you got into Greece. Uh -huh. And then through Edward, the line of succession is where you get Elizabeth. Right. Because mm -hmm. then it was George the, f the fifth mm -hmm. and the sixth. And only because her, uh, his brother abdicated due to his Nazism, and then right. um, and then he passed, and then Elizabeth became the queen. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so. he did, yeah. And he didn't abdicate because of his Nazism. He abdicated because he was like uh, he was kind of like Andrew. He was Andrew. Yeah. He, uh, you know, the royals. One of the things you find we find out in doing a lot of this history mm -hmm. is that it's sort of like they had nothing to do. Except uh, have people wait on them, have yep. people take care of them, mm -hmm. and um, eat, sleep, and have sex. Eat, sleep, and have sex. They were very, I mean, the Tudors were like... They were buck wild. They were crazy. Yeah. No, they were buck wild. They were, okay, whatever. <laughs> but still, uh, and they, this was normal. This was all normal you to them. You know who was, yeah? Thank you. Yeah, and so yeah, we're we'll getting why to... he decided to Yes. <laughs> so it's sort of like mm -hmm. um so they had little fetishes 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 uh you know, mm -hmm. weird things going on. So um the reason so we'll go through some of um each one by house. And so we just tied in how England, N the Netherlands, Germany, Russia, Prussia Denmark, Spain, Romania, Norway, Greece. Oh, and I'm sure Sweden's in there somewhere. Uh, yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, because they're, yes. Because the queen, um, what is her name of Sweden now? Yeah, it's one of the cha the children's right. children married into Sweden. Right. So, yeah. Because when Philip died, um, Queen Elizabeth received condolences from many of the royal families around, uh, across Europe. And they were said, they were said, their cousin. Because Passing. they are cousins. Because they're all related. <laughs> so it wasn't just a oh, like we cousins. You know how right. we would. Mm -hmm. No, no. So we, one, of, yeah. So one of the things we want to do is we want to put up for you a link that we'd like everybody to go to mm -hmm. and click on that link. Yes. And that just watch that link, and you would see. Um, actually, I saw it for the first time um, in twenty twenty. Mm -hmm. And you'd see that I read the middle passage, but you will see how the slave trade, how it started, uh, the, the middle, not how it started actually, but how the trading of African people, how it started in, uh, from England, mm -hmm. middle passage area and how it escalated to where, um, all the countries of Europe and millions mm -hmm. of people out of Africa yes. were just, sh uh, you know, shipped. shipped 
in the most uh well we understand uh, um how they were shipped Horrific, so horrific, horrific conditions. conditions yes uh and we won't uh you know go into that um and they call the middle passage when i read that book that's a book you could read too um it it was bloodied yes because a lot of people would throw themselves over overboard because they knew where they were headed yes you know and that's why they fought so violently to stay in africa so um that's kind of like um you know i thought that was mm -hmm. a rather what did uh in black panther yeah I'd rather die when he said I mm -hmm. could you I could save you. He said no. I'd, I'd rather, rather die. be with my die and be with the ancestors than be in, in, imprisoned, enslaved. Right. Yep. Right. So it's the same mentality. Mentality. And and then of course we also know that uh, the British um, had another thing that they did with any place that they went, they would take Africans and they would also take Indians. Yes. And the East Indians and they would take. East Indians in a different form, they would take them as indentured servitude servants, where they had they were pretty much enslaved for seven years and then they were free. So they had to work off their um their supposed their, their servitude. Right. You know. And um and you know, I'm sure there's some people some people could go into deep into that. But the the British royal family, you know, they have somehow or you know this is why history is important yes history is very important teaching history to the young ones and reminding people because we these people are not some beloved family even though are, they're propaganda like remember yes she, queen queen elizabeth the first yeah she was queen of it and taught them how to do it exactly and she taught this one here who took her name yes um well after, they named yeah they named yeah mm -hmm. yeah she went after she, she could have changed her name they, they i know the they queens, can come with some you know whatever name they, they choose want. past ones like uh charles could be george right. king george you right. never know but um uh, she chose, you know, she kept, Elizabeth, she kept Elizabeth and just put the two after it. But, you know, they are great at the propaganda. You know, this upright family, divorce is not part of their thing. <laughs> we'll show you divorce is their well, main thing. You that know? is the biggest thing. <laughs> you know? But yet they were, but that's so, why they left. See, back then he couldn't divorce him, so he had to kill him. Yes. And then, <laughs> and then they switched churches. They were no longer Roman Catholics. We had the English Catholics. Because Catholics didn't believe in divorce. At the time. So, so we he having, decided, look, I'm going to make up my own church. We, we, yeah. <laughs> we will be proud. Yes. By having English Catholics. Right, English Catholics. Now yes. I could divorce them. Mm -hmm. So thankfully, a lot of women's lives were saved when they did that. So I'm glad really, they did that. really, I don't so, know. He was taking people out. No, no, I'm glad he did that. <laughs> he didn't have to, oh, I want to marry you, dad. No, now I could divorce you. So, and, that is true. That yeah. is true. But, um, you know, so they divorce, talked about yes. how many... So all this stuff uh, Queen Elizabeth did with her sister, with Margaret, and, you know, getting divorced and getting married, and her Annis, horribleness, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> did I say that Yes, correctly? you said it correctly. You know, that's a bunch of crap. Oh, her horrible <laughs> that, year. It yeah. Was a horrible year. That was a bunch of crap. Yes. You know, the thing that they do, the things they do is worse, worse by comparison. Correct. Um, And so we have to be diligent because we have to be very careful that we don't forget the past because, because they'll repeat, repeat it. Itself. And they could easily, easily, the way they did Diana, they want to do a Diana 2. Point out. Well, I mean, look at how they're continually still targeting uh -huh. Harry and Harry Meghan. Harry and Meghan and the security and all these different things that they're doing. Yes. Harry, I mean, it, it's, you know. Why should he? Okay. Why First of all, he shouldn't have to pay for it. He's a blood prince. He's a blood prince, so he shouldn't normally get it. Right. But because, you know, the the William, you know, he the the bully has to be, and Charles has to be the one that... Future and future, future. future yeah. Mm -hmm. Have to be the one that everybody focus on. They would, they want to destroy them, so they're the only ones left. Well, let me tell them, nobody's going to focus on you. No. It doesn't matter what clothes you wear. No. What you wear. You could try wear, to whitewash you know. Megan and wear her clothes and yes. think it's the newest thing. No. Exactly. Go look at our episode if you want to look back at the previous episode on cosplaying. Mm -hmm. We the went to a different level. Yes. It's not just the clothes. It's they not the clothes. It's, it's different. It's, it's a full it's, level erasure. Erasure. So um, these people know what they're doing. Yep. Uh, don't be fooled by them. Mm -hmm. And um, we just wanted to kick this off and we'll send you this link we want you to go and look at 
it's how, pretty how, deep yeah look at how um how many how f they might have stopped the slave trade in america no no they stopped in england after a while no 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 they formally stopped it mm -hmm. because it was never formally under books but right they put out laws to stop it in other countries like they were big and they were right. like upper you know we're taking the high road these people these people created it correct so that's all i wanted, wanted yes. to say they they created so we would send you just one link we want you to see mm -hmm. uh it's a it's a, a, a 3d virtual thing of yes. the middle passage yes and then i i'd like you we also send you all the charts and everything all right but okay. you know i know it kind of got deep with this one mm -hmm. but we had to because we know that megan and harry and their beautiful family are at risk and we want to make sure they stay yeah. protected yeah they're at risk from some ugly people you know? i know but you know what i think harry played Physically very ugly. well yeah I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well if you're all goddamn cousins yes huh? no no new influx of something else yeah yeah you're gonna look a little crazy mm -hmm. but <laughs> we're gonna look at you and say oh yeah you're the ones with all the teddy bears on your bed huh mm -hmm. oh, in a pool oh you were going there yes, oh I'm god the there. teddy bears we'll talk about that next we'll, time <laughs> we'll find one of them in here who had a tell teddy bear fetish but we go ahead <laughs> you sure it's just not an infantile syndrome stuck in the thing yeah i know i know i yeah. saw that look you gave me anyway but no, we have to make sure that Harry and Meghan are protected. And, you know, I'm so glad he played it right mm -hmm. and caught and beat them at their own game. Right. Oh, no. Here's what really went down. They, We've they, been trying to get this thing cleared since 2020. 20. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they wouldn't approve it. So uh, the thing is, who won't approve it? Grandma. Yep. And then, oh, why? Or why am I coming out now with this statement? Oh no, y'all leaked that shit. Exactly. You were about to leak it. No, <laughs> exactly. <not> yes. Exactly. <laughs> so. So yes. So, please enjoy the, the episode and, um, and more to come. And all the documentation. Thanks. Bye.